are we ladies? We are the Tigers. When your feet hit the ground, you should be running. You're in the hunt for your next great championship. Who are we? We are Tigers! Who are we? We are Tigers! Inside LSU Gymnastics with Coach Didi Bro, brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee. Welcome to another edition of Inside LSU Gymnastics. Tonight, the Fighting Tigers of LSU took on the Auburn Tigers. Here in Auburn Arena it was a great environment for SEC Gymnastics, and it was a meet that went back and forth and back and forth, and it ended on the very last competitor of the meet. The Fighting Tigers started out like a house of fire on the uneven bars tonight, going 49-175, and associate head coach Jay Clark joins me. Jay, I felt like that the Tigers started out and really made a statement in the first uh, rotation tonight. Well, we certainly started out well, and the thing was they, they really warmed up with a very calm demeanor tonight. It was probably the best um, feel that we had had going into uh, the first event on the road being bars. They were a little bit tight. Uh, mm -hmm. The first three or four competitors I thought were a little bit tight, mm -hmm. uh, but, but we're getting better and better. I think the consistency is continuing to improve, and and uh, we've still got things we need to do better, obviously, and uh, a 49.175 needs to be more like a 49.375 for us to, uh, to really do what we think we're capable of there. But I'll, overall, I was very pleased with the start. Jesse Jordan starts you off, sophomore from Manville, Texas, going 9.675, and then Brittany Ramsey in the second part, in the second slot of tonight's lineup with a, uh, with a 9.75. Felt like it uh, was nice to see her in that lineup tonight. Yeah, she's been doing great. In the, the routine she warmed up, she just drilled the landing on the dismount. It's coming. It's getting closer and closer <laughs> every time. But, uh, but right now, she's just... Uh, She's still, you know, it's still relatively new, and we're still, we've got it. We've got to do a better job landing. And, and Jesse just needed to get back out there. She, uh, she had had a little hit on her confidence a little bit, and uh, and then got sick. And uh, so we just needed to get her back out there and get her feet wet again, and try to give her a, a little bit of a confidence builder. Kaylee Dixon, the uh, fourth year junior, uh, out of Oldsmar, Florida, right outside the Tampa, Florida area, with a 9-8 tonight, right in the middle part. And I felt that that was the point, Jay, where things really started to turn the Tigers well. Yeah, and that was the last one that I felt was a little bit tight. She, you know, and uh, but the judges really seemed to like that routine. It it uh, um, it consistently score, scores above a 9-8. She's gone 9-8-7-5 several times right. this year, and. Uh, when she lands that dispound cleanly, they really like it. So uh, Kaylee's, I think, pretty much solidified herself in that spot at this point. Well, and then uh, Reagan Corville in the fourth spot tonight, moving up one, where you it seemed you, you strategically placed Randy Wyrick in the fifth spot and then, of course, finished with Sari and, uh, at the ankle. Well, we've done that the last couple of weeks where we like we like Reagan and, and uh, Wyrick to sort of be that four and five spot. The, the one thing that continues to bother me about uh, why I thought Reagan's routine was fine. I thought it was very good. I, I, uh, Wyrick's routine, um, that last handstand, I, I just feel like she's still, we practice it every day, we harp on it every day, and then and then when we get in competition, she, she just doesn't seem uh, to have the confidence to really go for that last handstand, and it hurts her, and she goes 9-8 instead of going 9-9, which is where she's capable of being. 9-8-5 for Corville, 9-8-2-5 tonight for Randy Wyrick, and then the anchor, Sari Morrison, you know, we were hard pressed on our radio broadcast tonight to find it just any deductions. That was a special routine. That that was uh, without a doubt the best routine she'd done all year, and uh, and there, there wasn't much there to take. Um, and obviously they didn't take much, but uh, just very proud of Sari because uh, she she was a little little tender after vaulting and floor. I mean, and uh, bars last week, and uh, we really had to nurse her her leg and her foot along a little bit this week. But uh, to to really go for that landing the way she did tonight, uh, I think it just speaks to who she is in, in terms of the leadership that she provides. The 995 is a new career high for the uh, junior from Dallas, Texas, and you know Jay, she continues to just absolutely just uh, I think compete at an elite level now, having won seven out of eight bars titles in this season. Yeah, that's I mean that's what she does, and just the consistency level that she provides for us. It's it's great, and uh, you know, hopefully everybody else in the lineup is feeding off of that and can and can can mimic that because uh, she certainly sets the standard for sure. So Jay, we have a great piece right now on Sari Morrison, the junior from Dallas. Let's take a look, and then when we come back, we'll be joined by LSU assistant coach Bob Moore. It feels amazing. Uh, I feel like I've been working on the details coming in and being very consistent with my routines. So I feel honored to be up in the top six on BARC and I feel very consistent and confident this year. And I know that every time I get up that I'm going to hit and I'm going to be, be able to deliver big. So I think that that's a way that they can count on me. Well, Sari, first of all, is, is um, she's 
probably one of the more complete packages that we have on the team. And I'm, when I say that, I mean from the physical and mental standpoint. She's as even keeled as they come uh, in her approach to the way she trains. I mean, pretty much what you see is what you get every single day that she comes in the gym. Believing in ourselves that we are that 197 team and that we are going to go to nationals and that we have a chance of winning nationals this year. So a big thing for us is to keep building our confidence, to help each other I guess with the details overall, and to be able to go into each meet and get a 196 and higher. And joining me now is assistant coach Bob Moore, who's in charge of our vault. And Bob, five career highs on the event tonight. Yeah, it was really, really gratifying to watch the girls to get rewarded for the amount of work they put into it. So yeah. it's great. Well, and uh, you know, capped off, I think, you know, by the uh, by, you know, three Tigers that don't normally win a lot of titles, but high with a 9925 and I'm talking about Randy Lau, Malia Mathis and Brittany Taylor winning her first ever title at LSU. Yeah, I'm, real, I'm real proud of Brittany. It's, it's been it's been um, it's been a long journey with that with that girl. She is she struggled and you know it's just fixing little bitty things and getting her to buy into why you want to fix it. Sure. And so yeah, I'm, she's buying in. Oh yeah. She's she, buying she in tonight. a big way. And, it was great uh, to see. So you had her second in the lineup behind Kaylee Dixon, who stuck her vault absolutely ice cold. Goes 9.875. We were scratching our heads saying, uh, yeah, maybe it's a little better than that. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things to where you just can't explain it. Right. You know, it's about the second time she's done that, and it's gone 9.875. One judge goes 9.9, the other judge goes 9.85. Don't know if they're just afraid to give the first vault up that good a score. But it was that good. Right. It was absolutely good. And you saw it tonight with the absolute stuck landing. And then, of course, Brittany Taylor with the 9925. And uh, was every bit as good. I love her form in the air. Yeah, it's, it's much improved. Yeah. Much improved. And she took just absolutely the whole floor and just grabbed it with her legs. And that's what we've been talking <laughs> about. You know, it's, it's one of those things that when you hit the floor, you just gotta grab it with your legs and not let it go, yeah. she did tonight. Jessica Savona was third in the lineup tonight, sets a career high, 9875. Just had the slightest of, of steps, uh, but you could tell that the judges were looking for those sticks tonight. Right, they were, they really were. And then Malia Mathis, fourth in the lineup, Bob, and uh, does a bit of a different vault. You know, you might want to tell our uh, viewers uh, how her vault differs a little bit from the others. Well, you know, actually her vault is probably the most difficult simply because it is a blind landing. Sure. And, and the fact that she can orient herself in the air and come out and just grab it and nail it, you know, it's just, it's a hard vault. 9925 for the uh, junior from San Antonio, Texas. And then she's followed up by a sophomore from Honolulu, Hawaii, who has been a, I'll say a work in progress and the, <laughs> and the work product is looking pretty good. And that's Randy Lau. Yeah, Randy did a great job tonight. And I'm just, I'm happy for her because, you know, she's, she struggled this year mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason. Right. And, and who knows why they do what they do sometimes. Right. You know, but she has worked very diligent about getting back into the lineup and I'm just happy that she did a good job tonight. So the table was set for Reagan Corville, one of the best vaulters in the country. Yeah. You really felt like that if, if perfection was in the cards tonight, that the judges were gonna reward it, but the landing was just a little off. You know, and that's what, it, Reagan had, or has everything that all, that Susan Jackson had. Right. And that is the flexible shoulders, the power, the quick twitch, all of that stuff. You know, and if I could just get her to settle down, you know, and, and to, when she lands that position, just to bend the legs and then just stop instead of straighten them back up again. I mean, she, she would go 10-0 every time she vaulted. She's got the gift. Well, Bob, you know, certainly one of the highest scores in school history, one of the highest scores that you've ever coached uh, yeah. on vault tonight. Your thoughts? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this thing unfold and, you know, and by the time we got to the end and I looked back at it, I was like, holy moly, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Ran up some great scores tonight, Bob, and at the halfway point of the meet after vault, the Tigers with a two-tenth lead uh, over Auburn, 49-55. Congratulations. Where do you go from here? How do you improve on something like well, that? Well, you know, see, that's the very thing. Just by the nature of the score, everybody's got room to improve. Yeah. Well, and, and you, you certainly look at Kaylee Dixon, you would hope that yeah. even though she is first and the judging tends to be a little lower, the first uh, person in the lineup, that's worthy of a, of a higher score. Well, I think so too. You know, I want to see her get it. Absolutely. 
Well, Bob, it was a great meet tonight inside it, the Auburn Arena. And when we come back after this short break, we'll look at the second half of tonight's meet. You're watching Inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll be right back. Inside LSU Gymnastics with Didi Bro is brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee, the LSU Tiger Spotters, Wow Cafe American Grill and Wingery, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, PJ's Coffee, Glenn Armenter Law Corporation, and by Premier Office Products. Tiger fans, join LSU Gymnastics coach D.D. Pro and former LSU football All-American Brady James for two special events. Catch Tailgate for the Fight, March 7th, 6 to 9 p.m. inside the LSU Tiger Stadium Club, a night of food, fun, and spirited auction bidding. Admission is $56. Also join us March 8th at 7 p.m. as we host the 6th Annual Etta James Memorial Meet as LSU will take on rival Alabama. Tickets just a dollar. And don't forget, wear pink. Or info email promotions at lsu.edu. Taste that brew, billowing out the pie. Walk on in, see if you friends where you at, what now? DJ. Hey. DJ. Yeah. Got to get up DJ. early in the morning, man. You DJ. know, I got to have my coffee. DJ. So I'm going to run on down to PJ. DJ. You got to have it. DJ. It's early in the morning. Who are we? We are Tigers! Inside LSU Gymnastics with Coach Dee Dee Bro. I think I did really good tonight, personally. Um, I just kind of tried to use my momentum from last weekend and just try and do what I could for my team. I feel like we did really good. You know, it was a really good learning experience, and everyone gave it their all. And it's just such a good thing to have the support of everyone on our team just be so cohesive together. Um, of course, I think we can go to National Super 6 and possibly win the national championship. Our team is very strong. We're very focused. Um, there's no end for us. We're back on Inside LSU Gymnastics. And at the halfway point of tonight's meet inside the Auburn Arena, the LSU Tigers with a two-tenth lead over Auburn. And we move to the floor exercise in rotation number three. And Dee Dee Bro joins me now. And Dee Dee, I tell you, the 49-3-5 on floor tonight, uh, great road score, but always room for improvement. Well, you know, Jesse Jordan started us off in, in, in fine fashion. I mean, she had beautiful landings. Sure. I thought her presentation was as, as good as any meet we've had thus far this season. And, you know, it's, it's a good start. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great start routine. And, you know, she's got a little bit more difficulty that may be later in the season. But later in the season is getting pretty close. It is. Well, then you inserted tonight Brittany Taylor into the number two spot. Her first opportunity in a scoring role yeah. on the floor exercise. And all she does is just tie her career high. You know, we talk about that want to factor and, sure. and she's got that want. She wants to, she enjoys practice and, and I coach her hard. I give her a hard time every day. I mean, there's a very hard push for her to get better because we haven't had her long. Um, she stepped out there tonight, her first, her first time to really contribute to the team and did a beautiful job. Her, her tumbling was everything we could ask her. Her presentation was everything we could ask of her. And I was extremely pleased. Well, and then Jessica Savona is third, and I think saved the, maybe the very first tumbling pass where she had a, a landing issue. I thought her tumbling was pretty darn good tonight. Chess was a little bit down in that first pass, but um, it was, Mike. Her, her performance was good. Her presentation was great. But her second pass was awfully good, and that's, a, that's an E pass in your middle pass. And her leap combination was very strong. Double pike at the end, great landing. Um, her score was not what it usually is, usually a 9-9, but we could see the deductions. Exactly. But it, it was what we needed it to be tonight. Well, and then you go into that fourth spot, and, and you talked about coaching kids up, and I don't know if there's a kid on the team that has been coached up like Malia Mathis has over her tenure here at LSU. And tonight, she sets a new season high for her 9-9 on the floor exercise. She really opened up that tumbling pass, her first pass with a beautiful double lay. And then she performed tonight. Right. Her middle pass, she does a, a nice front pike, immediate step out into a round off back handspring, double tuck. Her landing chest was up. Last tumbling pass wasn't quite as, as wow as it was last week, but it was good enough to, to bring us a big score. Malia Mathis may very well stake her claim to SEC Specialist of the Week, or at least be in the conversation with a 9 9 and a 9 9 2 5. But uh, the Tigers tonight rounded out. Uh, on the floor uh, going uh, with uh, Reagan Corville and Mincy Hall in the 
in the five and six spots. And that's a combination that we've come and grown accustomed to seeing. And tonight I felt like Didi that with the nine nine and then nine eight seven five, maybe they were just a, a touch, just a touch off their game a little bit. A little bit. I, th I thought Reagan's first pass was good, a right. tiny bit off the diagonal maybe, but not anything that's going to really affect her score. Sure. Um, her last two tumbling, her second and her third tumbling passes were were good. Sure. She finished with her chest up, constantly reminding her to set, to get her arms up in her set position and reach position when she leaves the floor. And that way she lands with her chest higher. Yeah. And she did that tonight. And I thought her performance was good tonight. And, you know, she finishes with a 9-9. Nine -nine. Both judges gave her a 9-9. Nine -nine. Right. So somewhere in there, they took some little half tents throughout that routine. But you know, if you can string together some nine nines, you're going to be able to fare well through a competition. Well, and then Mincy Hall started out her routine tonight, and she just owned this crowd right off the bat. But I felt like that when maybe the first uh, tumbling pass, uh, a little bit of air maybe went out, and she, she she really plowed through the rest of her routine. You know, Mike, she didn't she didn't warm up as well as as we would expect her to, and she was a little quiet on the floor tonight. So, you know, we're going to have to, you know, have a little conversation and, and maybe get inside her head a little bit because we need her performance to be that 10-0 that performance. If Reagan opens the door with a 9-9, the opportunity for her to go higher is, is there. But still a 49-3-5, yeah. very respectable floor score, especially on the road. And I know that going into beam, which we'll talk about in just a minute, I know that you were pretty pleased uh, that, the, that maybe the table was set, that we could make a run. Well, you know, you, you go into an environment like this, and we knew that this team, this Auburn team, was dangerous. We knew that they were capable of, of scoring well and beating some people in this environment, and we kind of fell in their snare. So, you know, but um, we did. We had momentum going into being. I felt like the kids' minds were in the right place, and I felt like our training was good to, to get through this meet and, and come out of here with a good performance. When we come back after this timeout, we'll take a look at the fourth and final event from Auburn Arena tonight, the balance beam. You're watching Inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll be right back. For years, we've maintained our track record of success for those hurt while giving back to the community. Doing what's right has its rewards, and we're honored to be called the best by you. Earlier this year, a jury of tens of thousands of people, many of you, considered the facts, the evidence, and made a just decision of which law firm is the best. The verdict is in for the fifth year in a row. Thank you. The WOW Performance of the Week, brought to you by WOW Cafe, Brittany Taylor, 9925 on vaulting, and did a tremendous job for the team. We're back on Inside LSU Gymnastics with head coach Didi Bro here from the Auburn Arena. And on the road, the fourth and final event for the visiting team is always the balance beam. And sometimes it's life and sometimes it's death. And then sometimes there's this purgatory. And tonight, the Tigers of LSU with a 48-9 on the event. Yeah. And uh, Didi, I felt like that it was a case of the haves and the have-nots. Well, you know, you said purgatory. Yeah. And, um, I really felt like beam was going to be that event tonight, that right. we were going to be able to um, do the kind of beam that I see in practice because we've had that kind of preparation all week long. Erica Garcia got up and, and took breaks on skills that she completed and then sticks her dismount. We went with a new second person, Ramsey, and was in, in beam at, at Missouri and then right. we took her out and put Savona in last week, but we've got to find a, a solid second person. I moved Kaylee Dixon to third, and Kaylee started us off and did a did a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, Kaylee goes up. You can get your, your beam people to go 9825, 9825. You're, you're going to create momentum and be able to put together a good score. Yeah. Kaylee started that for us mm -hmm. and, and, and did a great job, and then Mincy comes right after her, and Mincy, I felt like her landings today, her leap landings, all of those skills were a lot better. Mm -hmm. She wasn't as hard, it wasn't as loud on the beam as she usually is. And then she's a little bit short on her dismount, but almost stuck it, it, it wasn't yeah. bad. Was able to give us, you know, another score that I, that I felt like, okay, I'll take a 9-8 and we'll, you know, sure. move on from there. 
um, Reagan Corville, beautiful beam routine, and and gets to her her last her her back answering back layout, her second D skill in the routine, and lifts her leg for for no apparent reason. She well, she says I was crooked, but a beautiful routine, and you you can see that it's flowing, it's moving well, her amplitude's incredible, and then she she doinks a dismount that should be just a, a piece of cake for her. Right. So it just you know we were doing well, but we weren't doing great. Jesse Jordan, you, you want the one with ice water in her veins to go up there and do a great job. And she had already done mm -hmm. good, well for us on bars and, and, and floor. Mm -hmm. um, just wasn't great. Broke her leap combination again and had to fill in with something else. And we're fortunate the judges gave her her, her bonus tonight. Sure. She had a 10 0 start value, which didn't kill us. A 9 8 would have put us where we needed to be, and she was a little bit short of that. But um, Well, kudos tonight to Kaylee Dixon, who I felt in the number three spot yeah. came in and really closed the door on some of the nerves that yeah. the first two performers kind of showed tonight. So 48 9 is the Tigers' score tonight on the balance beam. And the Puts the Tigers two tenths short on the final end of the of the scale tonight against Auburn here in the Auburn Arena. However, the LSU Tigers with a 196-975 team score, the third highest of the season. And Didi, it's really going to help that RQS when it comes out on uh, uh, this next week. And, uh, yeah. and 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 really, you know, being in the in the mix in that top six is awfully important when it comes to the postseason and, and where you go in a regional. Well, you know we. This team's better than a top six team. I think this team is a is a is a four spot, and you know we need to work our way to to that place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's all about consistency. And we've been training to create consistency, and we're going to continue to go in the gym and 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 continue to give the same message. I think the kids are responding well to everything we're doing. I think this team is fit. I think that this team is committed. And um, you know, you 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 go to Auburn and. We got beat by a team tonight that that just beat us on beam. Well, and, and kudos to Auburn actually yeah. with the highest score ever in their gymnastics history, which dates back uh, 40 some odd years. So congratulations, uh, you know, to Auburn. So, Didi, when we come back, we'll wrap up tonight's show from the Auburn Arena. You're watching Inside LSU Gymnastics with head coach Didi Bro. Students everywhere agree LSU is a phenomenal choice. Experience the campus where passion becomes genius. Now, only at LSU. Tiger fans, join LSU gymnastics coach D.D. Pro and former LSU football All-American Brady James for two special events. Catch Tailgate for the Fight, March 7th, 6 to 9 p.m. inside the LSU Tiger Stadium Club, a night of food, fun, and spirited auction bidding. Admission is $56. Also join us March 8th at 7 p.m. as we host the 6th Annual Etta James Memorial Meet as LSU will take on rival Alabama. Tickets just a dollar. And don't forget, wear pink. For info, email promotions at lsu.edu. The Stick of the Week brought to you by hey. Premier Office Products goes to the entire vault team tonight. The LSU Tigers with the third highest vault score in team history, 49-550. Yeah. So the LSU Tigers tonight with a very good road score here at Auburn, 196-975. And Didi, it really leads us into next week when we welcome Georgia, another top 10 opponent inside the PMAC and uh, really could uh, it's really going to be great to be back at home because our fans last week at the Arkansas meet were just awesome. It was an electric environment. It was what you want the PMAC to be. It was a fabulous sporting event, Mike. We, we had, what, 5,000 people yeah. in the arena, and our team rose to that, to that excitement. It was electric in the PMAC. Well, and Georgia comes in, as I said, they'll be a top 10 team. But, of course, you can get your tickets online, lsutix.net, lsutix.net, and uh, 7 o'clock inside the PMAG. So for, LS, for LSU head coach D.D. Bro, for assistant coach Bob Moore and associate head coach Jay Clark, I'm Mike Smith saying thank you for watching Inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you next week. Inside LSU Gymnastics with D.D. Bro has been brought to you by New Orleans Roast Coffee, the LSU Tiger Spotters, Wow Cafe American Grill and Wingery, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, PJ's Coffee, Glenn Armenter Law Corporation, 
and by Premier Office Products.